guys today I'm back with a new video and today I'm going to teach you how to uh, create a responsive table so let's first of all know what a responsive table is what happens see you can see the table here what happens if the size of this window changes suppose if we go in cascade way so you can see the table has enlarged itself and it has also uh, taken the full width of the container let me change the container size and see what happens then Alright, you can see that table has now shrunk its size. So it depends upon how the table is. If we try, if we try uh, shrinking the space size, we can also know that this this is adjusting itself. So this is not going on to the second line, but it's adjusting itself. So let's keep it of this size. That looks good. Now we'll try to add some more data, and we'll know how we have created this data. So in Bootstrap, in order to create a responsive table, we use a class called table res uh, hyphen responsive. So this class creates a responsive table which will scroll horizontally on small devices, which is under 768px. When viewing on anything larger than this pixel, there is no difference because the table value will adjust itself in such a manner. So here we have created a table we have created a div class called table and uh, we have given it a class of table responsive so that our table is responsive one and we have created a table as like we created in HTML using the table element and we have given it a class of table because that's a normal class in bootstrap for the table so that bootstrap will identify yes this is a table element and it would be able to apply its own style and then we have table heading if in case if you want to give any heading such as we have given a serial number here and first name last name age city and country Let, let's make it serial so we'll type in s and l let's run the program okay so it looks like now serial number here and we have given uh, uh one one of the data in the table row so what we, what we do when we create a table we assign a table heading that contains the name of the rows and then we enter the data one by one in the rows so we have we when we enter a, a data in a row we enter it in the body part so this is a heading this is the header part of the table now this here starts a body part of the table so we can see we have closed we have started the table head and we, again we have created a row for this this is one of the row of the table which contains the heading of the ta heading of the columns and th is a table head it contains the first uh, column name second column name third column link and likewise it goes and we have create uh, we have closed this table row so we one, once we close this table row we go and we create another table row we go to this row and we have also closed table heading letting the html know that now we are moving out of the body part so we would be entering the data into the table and here we have table body so we will be entering data likewise we did there but instead of using th which is for table heading we would be we would be using the td command which says table data so would so the html and the browser will understand that this is not the name of the column but this is the actual value in the column and we have inserted this value what we can do is we can insert one more row and we can see how that works if I run this command once again you can see there are two and if we try decreasing the file oh it goes so as you can see we can create any responsive table using the normal HTML elements just adding a table responsive class to the to the container of the table and also identifying the table with a class of table itself in bootstrap so this is quite easy please practice at home and see how does it works thank you